Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Literature and Literature. Thank you so much for watching and today I'll be talking about John Gower. Now, John Gower was talking, he was putting forth his view on the contemporary social conditions, right? He was putting forth his view. Now, you know, this is a criticism of Chaucer. When you talk about him, you know that, you know, Chaucer was talking about the many sections of the society, but he wasn't really considering peasants or the poorly for that matter. Right. So John Gower was filling in that gap, if I can say that he was writing about the poor. He was voicing out their concerns. Right. That is why, you know, such is going to uh, is he's going to praise him. John Gower, we will read about that. He's going to praise him in one of his works. So, um, you know, John Gower, I, I, OK, I told you that this time was a time when language was not really very developed. English was just coming up. Chaucer is going to make it right. He is going to lay the foundation by writing in the East Midland dialect. But for now, what do we have? We really do not have a proper, uh, proper kind of language or a popular kind of language which people are reading. So, you know, this time there was a confusion. I talked about, you know, the earlier surviving French text. I talked about Sir John Mandeville, right? I, I said that it, it, it is a French text. Now, um. Because, of course, we had the French influence in the Anglo-Norman period, right? So, what happens is that um, here, uh, Sir John Gower is writing in almost all the languages. He's kind of experimenting, right? He's writing in French, he's writing in Latin, he's writing in English, right? But, of course, you know, um, Chaucer will write mostly in English and, you know, of course, that is going to be the language then. That is what is going to lay the foundation. But he is writing in every language. So this becomes important. You should know which work is written in which language. That's very, very important. So, Mirror de la Om, I don't know how you pronounce it, or Speculum Meditantis. This is just a Latin title. The work is in French, okay? Now, I said the titles are important. So, you should know what is Mirror de la Om. It's the mirror of mankind. So you should know it is the mirror of what? It's the mirror of mankind or the mirror of meditation. It also shows the corruption of church, state and workers. Because as I said, you know, during this time, reformation is going to start. We just talked about, um, uh, sir, wait, 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 I'm sorry. Yes, we talked about Sir John Wycliffe. So, you know, he, he was the morning star of reformation. And then, of course, you know, People are getting to know about the corruption of church. That that kind of, you know, a wave is getting developed in, in England that, okay, the church is not very pure and, you know, how they exploit people's unawareness and everything. So now, you know, people are writing about it in this age, in the age of Chaucer. So John Gower here, he will show you the corruption of the church, the state and the workers, everybody. Then he writes Vox Clementis, The Voice of One Crying Out. It's a dream vision and it's written in seven books. And it's about the Peasants' Rebellion. Because obviously, when I said, when I talked about the background here, I talked about Peasants' Revolt, right? I talked about Peasants' Revolt. So that is why you need to know what was going on, right? So that um, so that you can, you know why a particular writer is writing a particular thing. So Vox Clementis is about this Peasant Rebellion. And as I said, Chaucer did not really write about peasants. But you know, See, Chaucer was a court poet. I'll talk talk about it when Chaucer uh, will be talked about. But Chaucer was very, very closely related to the uh, to the to the kings. So he could not, according to me, could write uh, could afford to write about something which was which did not go well with the kings. So Chaucer did praise moral. Uh, he called him moral goer, but almost like he wanted to talk about peasants, but he could not. Right, and then you know. Um, Okay, moral goer, this comes in Troilus and Cressida. We will talk about this in detail when we talk about Chaucer. And it is because of Vox Clementis, because of the Peasants' Rebellion that Chaucer, uh, that Chaucer is calling over as moral goer, right? Then comes Confessio Amantis. Now, of course, it's very clear confession. It's the lover's com com confession. It's written in English. And Richard too, he was the king and he requested for this work. And how do we know that it was Richard too? You know, usually such things that this particular uh, author, uh, sorry, uh, king has uh, wanted you to write some work or anything. It's usually written in the prologue. This is just a general kind of thing I'm telling you so that you can eliminate in the exam. Prologues usually, usually have this, that this is the person who wrote um, about, um, this is the person who wanted you to write about something, right? And, the, and who is this confession to? It's to Venus which is the frame story and inside it there is a confession to priest genius so just remember that there are two confessions venus and priest genius lover's confession right 
and you know uh, the lover here is old and you know he's almost regretful of the fact that he has loved and you know he's not regretful because he loves but he's regretful because he's loving at an age because he's grown slightly older so he feels that he's not it's not the right age to love that is what is it is about and that is what he's confessing so you know you should know because it's written in the in the title so they can ask you ki confession what is it about right i haven't written it down you can write it down in your notes if you want so i think that's it about john gover that's all you need to know see you must be thinking that i'm covering less if i want to i can cover a lot of things i i, I really mean it when i'm saying it but you know there's no point if you can't remember and there is there are going to be so many writers so many writers the less you know it's better and then you'll get confused you know when you'll know a lot of writers you'll get confused who was this one who was the other one so just focus on the less that you have complete it first complete the entire syllabus first with the less that you have then you have time then you go for the advanced thing that is what i think should be done and that's it from my side thanks for watching this video bye bye